Hi, this is Sandy Van Soy for Trekking the Planet. Today we're in the city of Krakow, Poland, and we have a special guest here who's going to tell us a little bit more about the city and where we're standing right now. We happen to be standing in front of Oskar Schindler's factory, and Ava here. Hi, Ava. Hello. She's an official tour guide for, yes. for Krakow. And Ava, why don't you tell us a little bit about the museum here and what we can expect to see when we go inside, and a little bit about Oskar Schindler. Okay, so as you know, we are standing in front of Schindler's uh, factory. This was the factory which operated during the Second World War and the occupation of uh, Poland and Krakow. And it was run by uh, Oskar Schindler, the German uh, businessman who came here to, uh, to live here and to earn some money during the time of the Second World War. And, of course, he came here because he wanted to earn money, but in fact, he completely changed his uh, um, mind and uh, his attitude, he found that um, um, uh, life of a human being is more important than money. So, in fact, he employed Jewish people and he saved 1,200 Jews because they worked for him and the living conditions here were uh, much, much better than in the ghetto or in the Płaszów concentration camp, which was located also here in Krakow. Okay. So, uh, Oskar uh, Schindler um, was awarded with a special title, uh, Righteous Among the nation by the uh, by the Jewish people uh, because of uh, what he did for the Jewish nation. Okay, and about Krakow um, specifically, um, can you tell us a little bit about um, the life in Krakow during the Second World War? I know you were mentioning to us that it was a little different in Krakow than it was the other in other parts of Poland. Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, it's um, uh, for uh, for Poland. The mm -hmm. Second World War was a very very traumatic experience, uh, six million people died. And here in Krakow, life looked like a little bit uh, before the outbreak of the Second World War, because it was inhabited by many uh, German officials. So many Germans uh, lived here with their families. So there was like one side of Krakow, one Krakow, the German Krakow, with Hans Frank, who, uh, the German governor who lived in the castle, in the Wawel castle, with his wife and uh, their children. Uh, and uh, also there was the um, Krakow, uh, which was inhabited by, by the Krakowians. Uh, for them, life was not easy. This was the uh, time of uh, terror and uh, very, very difficult uh, time. And of course, there was the Jewish Krakow, when uh, the Jewish people were completely separated, uh, uh, living in the ghetto and later in the, in the camp. So in this museum, you can find all these three Krakow, although this is yes. still one yes. city. Great, great. Well, we're yeah. looking forward to going in there. Yeah. So thank you so much, Ava, for your time. We really appreciate yeah, learning welcome. more about Krakow, or learning more yeah. about the um, Schindler Museum, and we're looking forward to what we're going to see. Thanks again. Thank you very much.